Well, hello there. I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a Astro Tarot reading for Virgo for the month of November. So like all, it's a general reading. So like all general readings, it's a good idea to keep your, um, take what fits and leave what doesn't fit. So I'm going to just switch cameras and we'll see what's in the cards for Virgo. I've cleared and pre-shuffled this deck anyway uh, before doing the reading. This deck is Pan's Vintage Tarot made by Game Crafter. Uh, it's the pocket size edition. I, I like working with it. This Astro Tarot, I call it, but the astrology, also known as the astrology spread, is made um, generally done with a circle. I do it as a tableau because it allows me to use other cardamancy techniques uh, that I've grown to use over the years. Okay, Virgo. There's an atmosphere around you for November of things finishing up endings but with that comes new beginnings and for some things if you've been going through a hard time it's coming to an end if you've been having through a hard time at work it's coming to an end just to jump through there just because some of these cards are the cards that sort of can freak people out in the beginning when they first clap eyes on them finances your day-to-day -day finances for the beginning for the month of November talks about needing to be careful of what you spend your money on. You may have to rein in the idea of just blurting out and spending money on whatever takes your fancy. It's time to take your control. The Vedevil card is a card of extravagancies and temptation and all those sorts of things, but you know what? That noose isn't that far around the person's neck. They can take control over they want. And you may find with regards to your day-to-day -day finance that you have this strong desire to take control of them. And you will be able to do that because this card is ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is all about putting the hard work in and getting things under control. So you also will be talking to people in November that are doing well. They've got some creative ideas and things are going well for them. They've also going well money-wise. And you could find yourself reflecting on some of the things they have to say and thinking, well, I want to do that too. And this will give you a lot of um, energy because it shines the light on opportunity for you. And that is, um, you could find that this is something you'll find yourself exploring um, how well this friend has done or friends and you find yourself well I want some of that too and you start looking into it and this gives you an energy and a drive particularly when it comes to getting into the financial thing so if someone talks to you and offers you a helping hand that's a friend and says I'm on top of this I'll give you a bit of a guiding hand go for it because you'll find that you'll get a lot out of it if that's what you choose to do you also get a really good sense that there's money going to come to you into the home because often when you get on top of this card, then there's money that's going to come into you with the home. So once you master this card, you will find you have money in your hand and money in your pocket. So all would bill. You some people might spend some money on some home items, but I guess with this card, I'm sensing that any extra money that you come into comes your way, you will be holding on to it. And keeping it for the future there's that sort of whole energy as I said before about security and what makes us feel secure and you're going to find yourself in November Virgo working with that down-to-earth hard work money stuff so <laughs> you're going to need patience and you're going to have a, and you have a talent for patience and you're learning this sort of lesson of it's more to life than just talking about it. It'll be in the doing and having the patience to have it happen. But just remember, by doing one thing, 1% difference each day, 
you're making an improvement, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, and then next thing you look around and you think, wow, I've achieved this. And that is um, very interesting for you to learn that and have that patience with that. Because on the side of both these cards are the coins cards or the pentacles. The best way for you to look after yourself is to knuckle down and as I said before, that 1% or I'm going to do 1% better. I can do 1% better than I did before. I, um, it's a wonderful, simple tool. Otherwise, if we keep doing what we're always doing, we're just going to get what we always get. But you don't have to be radical in making change. What's one thing you can improve each day? And you'll be amazed at how it all adds up and you're going to get there. You find that... Um, with relationships is going to be this sort of also dynamic happening with relationships about thinking about relationships making decisions about relationships and putting this sort of energy into what's going on with my relationship what do I need to change if you're with if you're looking for someone you're going to be thinking about putting that effort in what sort of person do I want to attract in my life if you're currently with someone you're going to sit down and talk to them and see this is the changes that we need to make. We need to get our heads out of the clouds and do this and if we're going to work together. And that brings wonderful opportunity for you because if you've been struggling, things are going to come to an end because there's this wonderful gain that's coming into your life. There's this wonderful opportunity in your life in November and it's going to change things for you. So do let me know what happens. And as I said... You're going to find yourself exploring all this money stuff, finances, getting on top of work, getting skills, and it's shining a light on bringing opportunities for you. So it's almost like a way of manifestation. So that brings this whole new energy for you, Virgo. With the what's been happening at work for some of you, you will find there could be restrictions. If there's been restrictions, they're coming to an end, and any restrictions that you have happen in November stay patient and know that it's going to be short term and also know that something good will come from it something new is going to come for it because while the death card is about cutting it off because normally it's the rebirth card in other cards pictures I'm getting um, something new comes off of that because the sun shining opportunity here there's lots of yellow in your chart and as I said a a friend is going to sort of I don't know maybe there's sort of some financial course or some sort of study that you do maybe it's a manifestation course and you find yourself sharing what you learn the same as these friends are sharing with you and that becomes a really nice energy to be around because you are around like-minded people Virgo you can draw strength of knowing that things are probably will be moving along quite quickly and by the end of you think there's um, once you decide to take the reins things start stepping up very quickly with the um, oh it's the chariot isn't it I call it the victory card but it's actually the chariot <laughs> its name is the chariot and so what a wonderful card to have that on your side and you're going to feel emotionally charged with that what you can do by the end of November you are going to find that you have money in your hands and it's all to do with this effort and work you put in and seizing an opportunity that comes your way. So Virgo, I'd like to thank you for watching this reading. If you liked it or you um, want to get more of my readings, please hit the um, subscribe and smash that bell so that you um, get the notifications from me. Also, uh, I'd love to hear your comments. It's a very interesting read. Uh, so I look forward to seeing some comments in the comments. And uh, thank you once again for watching, Virgo. Your energy is important. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.